The United Workers' Party is standing firm with opposition leader Alan Chastney in his case against House Speaker Claudius Francis and Attorney General Leslie Mondesi over his suspension from Parliament. The fundamental issue is that the right, the freedom of speech, is trying to be suffocated, is trying to be stifled, and we must never, never as a country allow that. Regardless of your preferences and biases, let us take out the blinkers and let us look at that thing for what it is that the leader of the opposition is trying to be suppressed in speaking out on the issues that matter to the people of St. Lucia. At a media conference on Wednesday, Chastney confirmed the parties negotiated the terms of an undertaking allowing his attendance at the next House meeting with a parliamentary vote on a motion for his reinstatement that has nothing to do with the substantive case. Chastney, who alleges the House Speaker violated his rights in the Banans Bay point of order row, framed his return in terms of the perceived initial folly in the previous Privileges Committee matter. This was not done out of benevolence. And I, it's difficult for me to believe at this point that a government that was elected on putting the people first, that's their mantra, that it took them almost a week to realize that they were taking away the rights of the people from Miku South. Okay? I don't believe that for one minute. I'm willing to accept it, but I don't believe it. Because that's a fact that existed when they did this in the first place. They should have known better. And they didn't. I more believe that they have done this because they have realized and now are starting to understand the magnitude of the mistake they've made in the breach of our constitution and the interpretation of their own standing orders, which is no different than what took place during the Privileges Committee. Shastney is adamant that not only will he prevail, but scoffed at those citing legal precedents and parliamentary procedure that his challenge is not subject to trial in a court of law. Terry Eyed, the politician seen by his staunch UWP supporters as a paragon of parliamentary democracy, is claiming moral victory with his scheduled return to Parliament, although legally the High Court has not heard the case. For those persons who continuously put notes out suggesting that the court will not intercede in a parliamentary matter, we've proven that not to be the case from the time of the Privileges Committee case. And we will prove it once again. And, and again, I think it's very important that I, that I reiterate what Dominic and also what Bradley said. This is not a victory for me. It's a victory for the, for the people. It's a victory for our constitution. It's a victory for democracy in this country. This is a victory for being able to hold any government accountable. I'm going to say something that I'm sure everybody has already come to the realization. That this government is behaving as if a 15-2 majority in the parliament gives them the right to be dictators. The opposition leader, who also accused the incumbent of having designs on his Miku South seat, is attempting to drum up public support to remove House Speaker Claudius Francis. We need for people to write in. I would like to see people show up and walk with me. There has to be um, a, a, a very visible rejection and demand by the public um, towards it. So calling in talk shows, writing in letters. Um, those kinds of things, and if we stage, uh, 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 the, the, the speaker must, mo must, must move from the House uh, movement, that it's the people who are going to have to cause him to leave. The UWP questions the impartiality of the House Speaker. The court matter continues with the case management and the trial in July 2023. Joachim Duplessis, HTS News Force.